All right, let's compare numbers up to 1,000. Comparing numbers might seem like a challenging topic, but it's really not that bad, okay? Now, normally when we write numbers, what do we do? We start in the tens, go to the ones. Same thing when we read numbers, okay? We start in the tens, go to the ones, 43, 47. And the same rule is also the case for comparing numbers. So if we want to find which number is larger, I'm not going to look in the ones place. I'm going to start by looking in the tens place. So here I have a four and here I have a four. Now, if they were different, I'd be able to tell which number is greater, which number is larger, but I can't. If I can't, then I go next door to the ones, okay? So which is greater, three or seven? Seven is greater, so that means this whole number, 47, is greater. Next one, we have 14 and 34, and we want to know which one is larger. Okay, do we start in the ones or the tens? We start in the tens, and I'm even underlining that place so I can focus on it. I have a one and a three. Which is greater? Which is larger? Three is, so that means 34 is larger or greater than 14. Next one, same thing. We want to know which is larger or greater. We look in the tens place. We have four in 47 and one in 19. Which is greater, four or one? Four is greater, so that means 47 is greater or larger than 19. Next one, which number is larger here? Okay, what will I underline in 49? The four or the nine? The four, because we're looking at the tens place. How about in 14? What will we underline in 14? The one, because we're comparing the tens place. So which is greater, 49 or 14? 49 is greater because four is greater than one. Okay, this time we want to know which one is smaller, which one is less, okay? So I have 41 and 44. I'm still going to start in my tens place, four, four. Just looking at the tens, I have a four in both spots. So I can't tell. So that means I have to go to the ones place. That means I have to go to the ones place. I have a one in 41 and a four in 44. So which one of those is smaller, is less, one or four? One is, so that means 41 is our answer. Next one, we have three and six. Both of them only go to the ones place, okay? And we wanna know which is smaller. So which is less, three or six? If I'm thinking of age, who would be younger, a three-year-old or a six-year-old? A three-year-old, right. Next one, we have 49 and 42. We wanna know which is smaller. So I look in the tens place, I have a four and a four. So I can't tell there. What place do I move to? I move to the ones, I have a nine, and a two, which is lower, nine or two? If you're still not sure, think of it as birthdays. Who's going to be younger, a nine-year-old or a two-year-old? A two-year-old, so 42 is a smaller or lesser number than 49. Next, we have 49 and 43, and we wanna know which is smaller. I start in what place? The tens, what do I notice? They are the same. So now I'm going to look in my ones. I have a nine and a three, which is less, which is smaller, nine or three. And if you're still stuck, think of birthdays. If I have a nine-year-old and a three-year-old, which is smaller, which is younger, 
the three-year-old would. So that means 43 is less than 49. Next one, 22 and 10. Again, you might be able just to look at these numbers and pick out which is smaller, but I'm still showing you this strategy to help you out because this is something that you can use in the highest of numbers that you compare. Okay, so we have 22 and 10. So I have a two and a one in the tens place. So which is smaller, two or 10? So which is smaller, two or one? One is less, so that means 10 is less than 22. Let's do one more together. We want to know for 42 and 35, which is smaller? We start in the tens place. I have a four and a three. Can I tell by the tens place which number is smaller? Yes because I have a four and a three, they're different. So three is less than four, which means 35 is smaller or less than 42. You did a fabulous job on this practice.